Okay, so I have to fit in these uh, gambling lines. Obviously, the bowsprit's all tied down and uh, in place, and it's only been held down by the uh, gambling lines, but it's, it's going nowhere. Okay, so now we've done that, we can kind of move on to adding these uh, marine support legs. These kind of fit just just in front of the third head timber uh, design that when we bring this marine walk across, that's going to support it. It's something like that. Okay, so I've already glued in the uh, the port side one, so now I'm just going to uh, attach this uh, this starboard one. I've actually uh, just painted the inside edge, but I've actually left it and obviously the wood effect just so you can kind of see the parts because obviously this was painted black. I brought these parts together. You won't kind of see the detail quite so much, and I can paint it after. I kind of just bring the two parts together, and that kind of sits there, nice and happy. Okay, so I've got this uh, this uh, marine walk platform. This comes part of the kit, but all I've done is just kind of enhanced it a little bit just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I've just taken a little bit of three by uh, 0.5 wood, and I've just kind of just framed it out slightly so it just looks a little bit more interesting. And I'm just going to sit this in its kind of position. I'm not going to glue it in yet. I'm just going to kind of sit it where it's going to be, just so I can kind of line up these support legs. And that kind of just gonna sit just like this on the glue dries. Okay, so now it's time to kind of work on this uh, this platform or this grating platform. There's a correct name for it. I'll try and find the uh, terminology out in a minute. But I've spoken to Neil about it, and it's actually uh, he actually realised he didn't actually cut any uh, any slots in this platform for the uh, the gammoning line. So pretty much kind of kind of got a little bit of artistic license for this part. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can kind of probably cut it into three sections and obviously build it into like platforms. But I think personally, I was going to kind of cut mine in half. So I can kind of fit it in two sections, then cut out the spaces for the gambling lines, and then obviously fit it in two halves. Okay, so I've got this part, and I think the actual name for it is called the uh, the gang board. But I think it could be wrong, but I think that's what it's called. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a couple of little indication marks. So I'll just set my ruler back about a millimeter on the first grating section and I'm just going to draw a pencil line. Then I'm just going to step back this next set of gratings, step the ruler back a millimeter again and then just draw a pencil line. And then right and turn it around, like I say, because I'm left handed. And a millimeter in front of this one. And then just draw another pencil line. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this gang board in half. So I'm just going to put the, the ruler right at the end. I've got 36 millimeters. So I'm going to make a mark at 18. And go down to this last line. At 70 mil. So I'm going to make a mark at 35. And I'll give me this, this kind of center line. Okay, because I've got these marks as well, that pretty much I'm hoping that pretty much just this section is what I need to remove. But I'm going to cut this now and then we'll put it back onto Victory and we can just uh, double check. I'm just going to put my little ruler right on the line, center line. Just taking my craft knife with a brand new blade on. And I'm just going to, it's only three mils thick, this gang board, so it should be easy enough just to cut through. Okay, so we'll bring Victor back across and we'll kind of mark where the uh, the gallon slots need to cut. I think it's going to be just here around this section and we'll do that. Okay, so after cutting this in half, this uh, gang board, I've kind of been bringing it back over to the model and just kind of having a little, uh, just having a little look how it kind of lines up. And it's not too bad, but it's still very close to this, uh, these gallon lines. And I'm actually looking at some uh, the pictures from the anatomy nelson ships and it actually looks like it's pretty much just kind of flush all the way along so what i've done with the uh with the port side one i've just cut it flush this time 
so it's, it's kind of like just to cut it straight down this line and it kind of lines up a little bit better but what's happened is as we start to take a little bit of material a little bit of strength out of this and like i say looking at that uh, the plan from the anatomy and nelson ship again we've got like a central support column going all the way across these head timbers so i'm kind of going to glue just a few of these in you know pretty much all i'm using is a little uh, three by two and it's been tapered at the ends to kind of fit the profiles of these uh, timber heads and all i'm going to do i'm just going to glue them across the timber heads and that's going to add a, a central support so it's going to give me a little bit of wood glue just the each end just a dab feed it through Kind of lining it up, use a uh, profile this V on the head timber, and I'm just using a little peg. Quite hard to clamp this if the angle is in. Just gonna squeeze this one up. Just leave that to dry five minutes. I'll probably add the third one off camera before we come back and then we'll kind of come back and kind of look at this uh, this gang board again okay so i'm just glued in these uh, three central supports so now i can kind of bring this uh, this gang board across and that's going to kind of fit quite nice just on there so it leaves us this opening like it does on the uh, the plans the anatomy and Nelson ship and like I said, I want to bring the, uh, the starboard one in as well. It's going to really close that gap. And then all we can do then is right at the end is just put a nice face piece over. And I'll close all this uh, this gap up. And it's going to look really nice. So I think what I need to do now is obviously I just need to paint these black because it'd be kind of hard to paint it after. I'm going to paint the bottom black and then we'll kind of come back and we can glue this into position. Okay, so let's paint all these uh, timber head supports and I've painted the bottom of this uh, gang board so now I can pretty much just kind of glue it into place so I think I'm going to use a bit of a mixture obviously I think I'm going to use a little bit of super glue along this back edge and then just some uh, white glue on these supports so I'm just going to brush some on like I say I don't use a uh, try not use a lot of super glue unless I uh, unless I want this the instant grab so I'm just going to run a little bit of this 60 second super glue just down this edge so I'm just going to bring the two parts together kind of want this edge of this gang plate to stick in pretty much flush with this uh, where the decking starts I mean kind of hopefully it goes off and I'm just going to take a couple of these little mini clamps okay so after just applying a couple of clamps where the white glue is I'm now just going to kind of hold this it's in place while the glue dries and the super glue is quite tricky this part because it's not a great deal to kind of get like a clamp on anywhere or anything so what I'm going to do is going to take a little scrap of wood I'm just going to put that kind of flush with the deck and then just clamp this with a little peg and that'll kind of keep that nice and flush Okay, so that's pretty much all this uh, gang board glued down for the uh, the starboard side. Okay, so I'll just glue on the port side one off camera. And then we'll remove the pegs and we can kind of have a better look of it. Okay, so the gang boards have had a good 10 minutes to dry and they're fitting okay. Probably a little bit high on this edge, so pretty much I think I'll just kind of have to like put some kind of support on it and obviously just glue it and kind of anchor it down just a little bit more. But it's fit into the timber heads really nice so all i've got left to do now is just kind of just fill in these kind of these gaps between these uh these sections of the timber head support so all i'm going to do i've just cut some of this material that we use to make up the uh timber head supports this is obviously the three by two i 
cut them at 15 mil long so you kind of cut them up to whatever suits your your space and i'm just going to drop them into there i won't glue them in yet because obviously i'm going to need to paint them but i didn't want to paint them first so you won't be able to see kind of what i was doing but i'm just going to kind of get fit painted black and fit into that space so all i've got that to do i'm just going to brush on a little bit of white wood glue on this these two front edges i'm just going to glue on this little face plate So pretty much once this is painted black, that's pretty much the gang board all finished off. Okay, so once this is had a coat of paint all nice and dry, we kind of start adding these uh, these other sort of little mouldings. They're just going to fit just inside these little grooves. Obviously, just going to need trimming back, and then we can start working on this uh, this top moulding. I'm going to kind of work out the correct position of this. Obviously, that's going to need kind of trimming to to fit, and then we need to obviously this is going to need to be stretched to fit. But yeah, but we'll figure that out in the next video.